Hello, welcome to Spurred On, and welcome to this week's episode of Spurverse. I'm here, as usual, with Emma and Craig, and this week we're talking about Spurs running the show for England. We're going to talk individually about our players' performances. So first up, we'll be talking about Eric Dyer, then Deli Ali, then Danny Rose, then Harry Kane, and then we'll talk about the youth performances for England with a load of our different players doing really well at youth level, and then we will talk other international Spurs players and the injuries that are potentially coming up as a result. Yeah. So Emma, kick us off. We want to talk about your boy. My boy. Your crush <laughs> and all of our crush Eric Dyer yeah I mean where, where do you start like if you even take the goal out of it his performance against Germany the world champions oh, just in case yeah. anybody had forgotten that in their own backyard on Saturday was incredible sensational he bossed it he had Mesut Ozil so far in his pocket that I think he might still be in there now I'm not sure he's come out yet mm. anyone anyone seen Ozil since not the game even heard of no. the guy. Um, I mean he he was just brilliant I mean to to come in as such a young player it's only like his second uh, full cap, I think, for England. Mm. You know, to come in so young against the world champions in, in that formidable midfield. I mean, they played pretty much a first uh, first eleven. Germany they had a couple of injuries in the in the back, but I think you know, going up front certainly it was you know their usual team. It was just phenomenal. Kept them all quiet with the exception of that cruise goal, which you know was all a bit unfortunate with yeah, Button's injury. Yeah, it was to do with the injury, really. Yeah, wasn't it? and um, it was Chris seeing an opportunity. But with the exception of that, I mean, he he just ran the show. He allowed everybody else in front of him to go forward. He just held it, cleared everything up. Was such a support because I think sometimes Cahill especially looked a bit ropey. Was such a support for him in front of him, and then of course then you get to the goal like. Great we're 2-2. We're, we're it's the 91st minute. You're thinking, God, we've come from 2-0 down. This is pretty great. Like, we'll yeah. take this. And then up he comes. Henderson's corner. Bullet head on. Boom. Boom and head. And the wow. thing is, he said after the Bullets. game that he told Henderson, he's like, aim yeah. it for me. I can get it in. The confidence, just the assurance, it's just so he said, great. He said put it at the near post once yeah. Yeah. because he'd been putting it back post yeah. all game. And I, you know what? I thought uh, Dyer really brought the best out of Henderson. Massively. I'm not a huge Henderson fan, but I thought Henderson was great in that match. And I think it's because he had Dyer next to him. Absolutely we had someone agree. decent next to him for once. Who absolutely could go. agree. And, you know, it, it's, it makes an absolute mockery. I mean, I know, obviously, we hate him anyway. But the mockery of Hodgson's comments about Dyer still being in Wilshire's shadow before the match. What an utter load of rubbish. If there was ever a performance that would say, I'm your number one man here, mm. it was that performance on Saturday. And also, you know, his post-match interview, he was so happy, so excited, like talking about, you know, the pride for him and his family. It's going for England, taking the mick out of Delhi, which we'll obviously get onto shortly. Of course, of course. Um, if, it's, if there's possibly any negatives from Saturday. But I mean, it... It was just brilliant to watch, and it makes you so proud. Like I don't know about you guys, like, I haven't been this excited for England for a very, very long proud. time. It was great, wasn't so it? Yeah, proud. I was very, it was very brilliant. proud of him. Did you see that picture of him uh, just doing what he wants, being a badass? Oh, that was There's so a good. Of <laughs> Germany, very sneakily, they it have seems. An escalator. They have an escalator for their players to it's go down weird. for the match to get onto the pitch, whereas they make the away side walk down some stairs, segregation, and take the energy out of them. <laughs> make, yeah. Unfair, but Eric Dyer. <laughs> When it shouldn't be this way, we shouldn't be. It shouldn't be <laughs> Should segregated, be segregated? Like this anymore. <laughs> it's 2016. Oh yeah. So while all the England players in red are walking down the steps, you just see one little flash of red at the top of the escalator, in amongst all the German shirts. And it's Eric Dyer. <laughs> of course, Eric it would going, be him. I don't going care. Down the I'm not bothered. Yeah. Casual. He'd already started. He, he was right behind Mesut Özil. He'd already started marking him before the game yeah, even started. Yeah. Before they exactly. even walked down the pitch. He really sent a message, didn't he? And it paid off. Just, just a tap. It abs- and you made the point earlier that you felt like it was. We all talked about Dyer rescuing Ali. Yeah. A point of like what people would have said about Delhi Ali. Yeah. Despite having that incredible performance, like just, some people would have just said. Yeah, you know, no, not ready. Or I also sent out like a brotherly tweet about it, and it, it got quite a few likes actually. Well I done, said, man. Real friends, <laughs> real <laughs> friends, <laughs> bail each other out, and that's what he did. You know, when your friends, I think he would have scored it anyway because, like, like we said, he spoke to Henderson about putting it at the near post. But in the yeah. same breath, I think he really wanted to score that goal after Deli Ali missed because exactly. it's his mate, and he doesn't He's want an older to see him. To Deli Ali. Exactly. He so he wanted to, he wanted to bail him out. I, I like to think that. So yeah, it's, it's good times. But that's what's so good as well to watch about our boys all playing for England is you can just see like the friendship, the camaraderie, the support. Yeah. It's literally just gone straight from the Spurs ground to the England ground. Yeah, taking it's over. So cool. It's so exactly. cool. We love it. Just like the Premier League, Spurs and Leicester carrying the England performance. Oh, well, I mean, we can't ignore Leicester in that because of Vardy's goal. We can't ignore no, Vardy's goal. We can't ignore Vardy's goal. I mean, come not. on. But let's not talk about Leicester because I will get angry. 
but let's just... Well, what about Deli Ali's performance in general? So he had that miss, obviously, and he was absolutely gutted. And then Dyer did bail him out. Yeah. But Ali... Ali I mean, was... there was a lot of hype pre-game about Ali, wasn't there? there a lot was. of people... We had a lot of interviews. Yeah. And a lot of people were talking about, like, is this future of England? There was so much pressure on him. He's only 19. And the and thing then is, he stepped and he, up. And he just it? stepped up. I mean, he just played with that same lack of fear that he plays for Spurs every mm. week. It literally doesn't matter who he's facing. He's just yeah. like, I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to do my skills. I'm going to do my nutmegs. I'm going to run the show wherever I can in midfield. Like, yeah. it... I was so proud of him because he just didn't look phased by anything. And I know we get used to saying that all the time about him this season, but he's only 19. It is ridiculous yeah. that a year ago, this lad was playing for MK Dons. He played for England at junior levels. And now he's up there being a world beater, you know? I mean, yeah. I know it's a friendly and always got to put a caveat on that. You know, if this had been a proper game, would Germany have done more, tried harder, whatever, but you cannot take away from no, him you can't. the level of maturity and skill in that performance. It's so amazing And the thing is, watch. he's just fearless. Like, a lot of players wouldn't take on shots in certain situations, yeah. but he just drives in there. He's not afraid to shoot from about 15, 20 yards out. He'll take on any opportunity. He was setting up goals. I, I just think the guy's phenomenal. But that's why my heart actually broke for him when he missed yeah. that chance. Yeah. Because yeah. if there, was, laps to the floor, if there was anybody yeah. who deserved a goal yeah. on Saturday night, it was him. It was a big miss, to and, be fair. And it was a great oh, move from Jamie Vardy. That's hard God. to deny. Yes, it was great. yes it was. we know it you like Jamie Vardy. It was great yes. play from Vardy. <laughs> yes, it was. Yeah, it was. It, it makes me excited for England that we've got this Spurs spine and then you've got a player like Vardy. I'll think about that in. in June or I, the end of May. I'll think, start thinking about Vardy, but as for now, I can't think about that. quite an angry man whenever you talk about Leicester. Even mentioning anything Leicester related. Listen, I tweeted it was a sensational goal, Vardy's goal, the back hill. It was a great goal, but I just I don't want to feel that until the end of the season. I can't mix emotions yeah, right now. Fair enough. I can't do it. It's too it's too it's too close right now. I understand. And I'm already nervous. And the title is way more important than of, England. Of course it is. By any stretch of, of imagination. Of, of so. course it is. But let's just, you know, in this international week break rubbish, let's just have a moment where we can all just be like, you know. All right. Loving all right. together. Amnesty. All right, yes. Yeah. Cool. There was an England debut. Yes, for there was. Player, and that was Danny Rose. And he was brilliant. I mean, God, there was like... It, is, it, I mean, is it fair to say he's just better <laughs> than Ben Davis outright for Spurs right now, Reese? Are you just going to yeah, admit right now. Yeah. Absolutely. Right, right now? now. Right, right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, but is ben it, Davis, it's, they, they, they are appropriate for different types of games. I'm going to be honest. Right now, even in the... Pre he might be the on current form the best left back yeah, in the Prem totally I agree in the Prem I can't I do agree think of that. too There's many no players better. that are up there right now and do you know no what better, but I think Hodgson might still have started Bertrand if he hadn't pulled out of the squad maybe but I I, I think Rose has come leaps and bounds under Pochettino this yeah. season I mean he's on the ball his quality his, his, his the way he drives forward yeah. and links up with the attacking players is ridiculous. Like yeah. he's just he's so strong, so is. strong. And I absolutely loved it because his England call up has been so long overdue. Like it, it should have happened earlier on in the season and it didn't happen. Yeah. Everyone was like, what are you doing, Roy? Mm. Like, how are you not calling him up? Um, for him to get his start against the world champions, you kind of go, this can go one of two ways. A bit like with Delhi, it's like, it's either going to be an outstanding success or this could kill him. Because if he doesn't have a great game, yeah. This, you know, he might not get another chance. And my God, the he tackles stepped he up was to putting in as well. It was just, it yeah, was just... I know, he does do that, which which Ben Davies admittedly doesn't do. The one, it's, the, it's the very, really... no other England left back at the moment really does that. No, he's so tenacious. Yeah, he's, he's, he's such. Yeah, he's such a little fighter. He's such a little powerhouse. And what I was really interesting about Saturday is actually a lot of uh, people that I spoke to who were non-Spurs fans were yeah. really pleasantly surprised because mm. they kind of felt a bit like before the match they were like, oh god you know everyone's getting carried away about this Spurs thing like oh it's all just hype blah blah Danny Rose shut them all up they were literally Properly. like my god he was brilliant he actually got the um, the Vauxhall man of the match I think not the BBC one but right. the, the ones the fans voted for he got man of the match oh, okay. and it was so deserved like I just thought I mean if, if there's ever a player I think him and Dyer have literally played themselves into the Euro 2016 squad oh, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With, without a doubt, I think if Hodgson didn't take either of them now, he would be crazy. Well, it was a bit of a Actually concern crazy. having those three young players for Spurs that we've watched all season be quality go yeah. in. It's like when you like are able to do the Pele 7 in your back garden and then you go, <laughs> guys, come and watch this and then you can't and do you it. can't do it, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. I'm an audience now. Yeah. And I was thinking, don't let me down, guys. Please, please, guys, I've please. I've been don't bigging let you down. up all year. Don't embarrass me, and they but didn't. But they didn't. They, they, we they, they were like, better than normal. Oh, they were amazing. We should have yeah. known. We should have known they wouldn't let us down. Exactly. This is our boys. They no. smashed it. One person that we didn't have to prove a point with was Harry Kane. Oh yeah. Oh, right, because yeah. everyone now accepts that Harry Kane is it's the best God. striker in the history of football, it's right? God. I mean, this, <laughs> this. I mean, this guy. I'm running out of, of great things to say about the young. The thing we forget is 
He is 22. 22! He plays like a 28 year old. Like yeah. he, I and look he at him as a, like a 28 year old. He does, he does. does. He looks like a senior player. He carries himself like a senior player. He's got so much confidence. I mean, to actually do that, the Cruyff turn. Yeah, I mean, I like he was walking away from goal and left Meza Ertzel, <laughs> who should have been in Dyer's pocket. He, got, he managed to get out for like yeah, a, just, second. Just for a second. Just for a second. Just, just an let Kane humiliate him. He's looking around like, what? where's the ball? <laughs> Muller and Ertzel. Yeah, I know. <laughs> two fine players. And to I hate do it then, like, fine, to, do it, fine to do it in tribute. Like, he'd almost planned oh. it, going at some point, I'm going to do a Cruyff He did. Score. He yeah. knew what he and was doing. Great. Everything about this man is he's so intelligent and he's so premeditated. He was walking away from goal and just completely turned, put it through one of the uh, players' legs and... In we're talking about Neuer here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Neuer. Well, it was a classic... The best, the best goalkeeper in the world. It was a classic Harry Kane, low powerful, off the post kind of like right in the side. How often do we see him smash it right the into the side? And he didn't even go mad. His accuracy He didn't even incredible. go mad. He, he just, just like, ran yeah. off like, that no, key, got, got I knew I was going to score. I believe in my ability. He didn't rip the mask off. Didn't no. have to. I mean, and, and, I mean, and I know we always say and it's getting a bit played out, but the one season wonder thing is such a joke. Oh, like, it's so, but it's so, all isn't All of it? these people... Everyone surely accepts that that's not true now. It's just, it, it's just a disgrace. It, isn't it so fun to be able to shove it back down everyone else's throats now? Because we all knew he wasn't going to be a one-season wonder. We've now got Arsenal and West Ham fans going, oh, yeah, just a two-season wonder. <laughs> Pathetic. And what about this photo you saw of the Leicester bench? Yeah, so the photo uh, service, uh, surface, sorry, serviced. Um, <laughs> and apparently it was from Watford. It was a playoff in the championship. And they were on the bench. There was drink water, yeah. Vardy, Kane. And they were just, so I mean, like Vardy's him. hair was disgusting. But that's a whole other thing. And Kane looked a bit <laughs> chubby. Yeah, chubby. He's, he's got in shape. Yeah, yeah, he did have a bit of weight. But he was just, cheeks. yeah, saw that time oh. on the bench. But um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they were just watching on. And the thing is, it was only three years ago. Like mm. 2013 wasn't long ago. And now three of the best players this year in the Premier League. It's three insane. Of the most important and and it's, a, it's, a, it's a testament to what hard work can do for anyone. Yeah. This is deeper than football, guys. You can take something from this. Work hard at your craft, be passionate, <laughs> and you can be whatever you want to be. Craig's hey, been reading his that's business why books again. Exactly. That's why I will be on X Factor. <laughs> anyway, um, okay, doing what? Singing, hosting. Hosting. Yeah. hosting. No, Dermot's gone back now. So, today. so you versus Dermot. Extra Factor, maybe. So? Yeah, maybe the Extra Factor. No. J anyway, guys, <laughs> <laughs> he's got dreams. He's got ambitions. I can. He doesn't want to sit on the bench. If at Kane... Extra Factor in the Leicester v Watford no. playoff, he wants to host it like Dermot O'Leary. Exactly. <laughs> Good. Well, that worked out well for Ollie Murs. Uh, also. <laughs> Our young players have been doing Wait, hold on. Have they actually got rid of Ellie Yeah. yeah. Dermot O'Leary come back. This is back. not the Sun <laughs> gossip column, okay? We don't need wow. to be talking about this. Josh oh Onoma scored for the under-19s. Doing very well. Yeah. Marcus Edwards scored four in two for the under-18s. Wow. The Spurs lad doing well for England. Uh, and Harry Winks captain the under-20s. Oh, do, you know what, do you know what? Call him up. Call him up, Roy. Bring him <laughs> through. Why not? Bring him up. Not for the Euros, obviously, but after yeah, the Euros, yeah, yeah, yeah. bring them up, call them up, because at Spurs, we're doing something special here. We're, we're, we're getting them through. We're, we're doing bringing great. in the young blood. And you know what? Harry Winks. Harry Winks. He got a lot of praise. They lost 2-1, yeah. um, but he was the standout player. Like, Henry Winter was singing his praises on Twitter. Loads of these journalists were saying that he was the bright spark. He was absolutely quality. He yeah. is, uh, we, well, he is a football encyclopedia. I mean, yes, Deli I was going to say. Yeah, yeah. He knows, Deli Deli he knows everything. everything about football. Yeah. But Lives no, he on football is, manager, apparently. I think of all our youngsters, I'm probably most excited about him. I think he's got really? real, I, honestly, I think he's got such potential to be captaining at that age as well. Yeah. It's just the leadership qualities that you need and that you see kind of in our team a lot, actually, in different parts of the field. Um, I think he's got that in abundance. Like, I'm really excited to see what he'll do next season. Yeah, it's really about him he's very well. fresh and green at the moment, but he... He looks like, like he a 12-year-old. He, he looks does. like a 12-year-old, but he's actually bigger than Tom Carroll. Have you seen them next yeah, to each other? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's actually quite broad, well, but his face is... I don't like, know if that's a barometer. Wouldn't it be harder to be bigger than Tom yeah. Carroll, would it? That's a good point. Mm. <laughs> Just been out there. Yeah, fair enough. Um, now, otherwise, internationally... Uh, we've had a few injuries or potential injury scares. This was always the fear. Yes, but it has sort of come true a little bit. So talk me through this, Emma. You know more about this than me. So Dembele. <laughs> Dembele, okay. So he was, he was so injured, Dembele, but now he's not? No, he's fine. He's fine. It was a bit of a scare. There was an awful photo of him in training with Belgium where he was sat down on the ground with ice on his ankle and he was literally going, oh my God, this is the start of the end for us. 
But it turns out it was just ankle pain. It wasn't an actual ankle injury. He's been declared fit for their game against Portugal. If there's someone you thought would maybe get injured, though, you would probably say Dembele. Yeah. He's someone that's always in and out of the team. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't be. I would be devastated because he's such a big yeah. player for us. But yeah. I wouldn't be shocked at it. Really. No, but it getting... looks. But it looks like the tentative signs at the moment are really good. Mm. Hopefully now I'm. I'm going. Don't play him tonight. I don't care if he is yeah. fit. Don't no, play him tonight. Don't play him. Have you seen that? Not on, <laughs> it. Not on it. Have you seen that picture of? Uh, him sat down with ice on his ankle where he looks like he's got six toes. Yes. No. And that's why he's so good. That, were, that would explain why he's so strong. <laughs> that's and why no he's one so balanced take... and can constantly it's turn why, it's why no one can ever, extra toe. Why no one can ever take the okay. ball off him. Exactly. <laughs> because okay, it makes got sense. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I, th with, I think tentatively, tentatively? That's At the, the time of recording, okay. At the Dembele time of recording, is potentially Dembele's okay. Fine. But, yeah, we don't know if he's going to play. Hopefully, no, not won't play. Hopefully not. Hopefully and what about uh, so Toby is Toby. ill. Ill now an illness I'll accept. Ill because there's a lot of a there's a short period of time with an yes. illness. I'm of going the, that sort. Ill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and he's he's sick. He's, no, he's breaking yeah. it, so he, he doesn't thought, have to play. Yeah. He's exactly. all spurs. He just thought, you know what? I know how badly my boys leave me back yeah. at White Hot Lane. So I'm just gonna chill this hey, out. Don't give it away. Please. Don't give it Him away. Him and Musa have he's had sick, a pact, guys. He's sick. He's, sick. he's yeah. actually he's sick. Really actually, yeah, yeah. He really yeah. is. Just he's really to... sick. Let him sit. <laughs> Toby, get on the Lem sit. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we need you. So we think that's fine. Lamella. Now that's more of a worry. Yeah. We're not really sure. He got injured in training with Argentina uh, before their, I think it's their World Cup qualifier against mm. Bolivia, I think it was. Yeah. Um, it's a muscle strain, is what we're being told, but there's been no extra info on how serious. I'm going to be controversial <laughs> and say, I don't think that's a massive blow. Um, uh, and, 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 and I'm going to, and I'm going to, and I'm going to, I'm going to build on this. I think it's a blow. I don't think it's a massive <laughs> blow. I feel like we have players in our team who make up the spine. They're instrumental to our success this season. Yeah. The likes of Dyer, Lloris, Alderweireld, Ali Kane. And if any one of those got injured, maybe even Dembele, I would be like, oh my God, kill me now, kill me now. Meltdown, meltdown. Lamella, I'm like, <laughs> Lamella, I'm like, yes. <laughs> the go-to crazy. Yeah. <laughs> meltdown. <laughs> meltdown, meltdown. But um, no, I think Son, even though Lamella is, we know what our starting eleven is now. Yeah. And Lamella starts over Son. We've seen it. He's played it in the games against Arsenal, yeah. you know, Villa, yeah. all of these teams. But if Lamella comes out, I'm, I think there's, that's one of the positions we're covered for. I do know what you mean. I think my only yeah. fear uh, is... Son can do a job. He can do a job, but at this stage have. of the season, he hasn't got the same aggression, defensive capabilities, kind of all-round attack dogness that Lamella has, which I think, to be honest, at this stage of but the season But I think he's got enough need. to carry us through. Basically, I think he's got enough to carry us through to the title. Oh, oh yeah. God. That's what I think. I think You're Lamella going on like Lamella is bail, guys. Like, no, well, no. Does, how much does he... I think he's yeah, so All right, he gives a cheeky assist now and again, and he works really hard. So but often, Lamella is the pass before the pass. Yeah, absolutely. And all over the pitch. And so often, Lamella's he's always the one faces. winning the ball back as well. Yeah, but it's, this, is, ball, this is what we're saying. This is back. a debate in itself because, you know, he's, Lamella's never been leaps and bounds above Son, and this is my whole point. If Lamella he goes out, Son can come in and do... gets us up the pitch so quick. He gets us from the halfway line up the pitch so quick, so often, which goes unnoticed. Which is why it will be a blow, but I just don't think it's a massive blow. I think if he got injured, it's not, okay. it's not meltdown. I will give you, it's not the level of a Toby blow. It's I not a meltdown. It's not. You could, you could, you, you could move on comfortably and, and know <laughs> you that we could. Move on. You could, you could wait for him to come back. Well, I don't know. It depends well, hopefully, how long. anyway, right. Crossed. Let us know your thoughts <laughs> on that. Son or Lamella? Is it that much of a difference? It certainly is, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, what did you make of the England performances? Eric Dyer bailing out his little brother Deli Ali. Uh, Danny Rose's debut. Did he deserve man of the match? Uh, as Emma says that he got. Uh, Harry Kane's goal, obviously incredible. The Cruyff turn and his performance and that photo of him on the Leicester bench. Um, obviously the injuries, are we concerned with that? And are we excited about the youth, Josh Onoma, Marcus Edwards and Harry Winks all performing well and getting goals? Uh, two of them, that is. Uh, <laughs> let us know and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Drop us a like and we will see you next time. Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On, bringing you five things I feel we learnt from the Germany versus England game from wonderful, beautiful Berlin.